I know every kid says growing up that they want to be in the NFL, they want to be a professional athlete, but that was like what we really wanted to do. And that's something that stuck with us our whole lives. That dream was always there for us. So being born our size or, or our ability, you know, we're very blessed and very talented, but we're not the freaks out there, you know? So that work ethic had to be something special. It had to be above and beyond for us to be able to get to where we're at today. And are now threatening. Holly again fakes, goes to his left, back to his right. He's into the middle, he's gonna score! Nick Holly goes in from 21, and the Golden Flashes have a two possession lead. Motion right to left, stops on the end of the line. Holly straight ahead, he's in, he scores! Kind of, since we were little, we, we believe we could achieve anything that we set our mind to. So I would say, you know, when we were little and we started football and that was our goal, there was no doubt. We weren't the biggest, we didn't have a lot of size, so that part was, you know, something that we had to overcome. And then uh, when we were 18 years old, we lost our mother um, before we graduated high school right after our senior season. So to me, and I, I'm pretty sure for him it'd be the same, that's, that's the worst pain you can ever go through, I, I believe. Obviously, he's, he hit on it with our mom, and, uh, you know, that was one of the biggest things that we could go through. And then, you know, I got hit with some more adversity at the end of my senior year in college. Kent State senior football player Nate Holly wore an unfamiliar uniform today, donning an orange and white jumpsuit in the Portage County Courthouse. We, the jury, find the defendant not guilty. You know, my senior year, I was suspended for my last three games. Um, I got accused of something that I didn't do. Full-blown jury trial was found innocent, and that took away my draft status, that took away my invites, my awards, everything was, was taken from me. There's nothing I could do about it but clear my name. Going through college, I had, you know, multiple season-ending injuries and, and had, you know, the, the right knee go, the left knee go, the back went, you know, all kinds of issues. And going through those, I always thought, you know what? I, I went through the hardest adversity I could ever go through. This is nothing. Adversity is an option word. You know, it's a choice word. It's, a, it's something that when it happens, you're given a choice. You're given two streets. You're given the right path, you're given the wrong path. Which one are you going to choose? After the draft, um, I firmly believe that if I didn't go later in the draft, that I would be a priority free agent. I had a lot of teams calling multiple times, multiple days in a row. So I firmly believe that, you know, something was going to happen. And at the end of the draft, nothing happened. You know, I didn't hear from any teams. Uh, my agent was getting told that, you know, teams aren't sure about with my knee, if it's back, if I'm healed, whatever the case was. So when I got that phone call from the Rams that said, hey, we're gonna bring you in, we're gonna put you through some scans of physical, and we're gonna put you through a tryout. If everything's good, we're gonna sign you. So I would say when I walked in uh, Les Snead's office and he said, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna make you a Ram. For me, that was a surreal feeling. That was, that was when I thought, you know what, this is, this is real, this is here. I didn't have so, the luxury. I walked into the to yeah. Mr. Sneed's office and, and he said, this is the same thing that happened to me in college. This is gonna kill you. We're gonna sign your brother, but we don't have a spot for you right now. Stay faithful, stay true to you know your training and, and hopefully we'll get you back in. Every day I was here, I said, hey, don't forget about my brother. You know, he's, he's training, he's ready. Then one day when I was, I was in the locker room and I was about to go take a shower, they said, hey, we're working on getting your brother here. Pretty cool opportunity for the Holly brothers. Nick and Nate, the Whitmer alums, will both have a chance to make the LA Ram roster as they will both be in Rams minicamp this weekend. It became real for me once I got there and, you know, once I signed on the dotted line, because it was like after the last year that I had, I didn't believe it until I, I actually put my name on the papers. Being twins, leads to us being competitive. I mean, our whole lives coming out of the womb, we joke about who came out first, who came out last. He says he held on longer. I say that I, you know, I, I raced him out and I beat him out. And that's kind of for us where it all started. And our whole life, we've been competitive with each other and we've been able to push each other and strive to just one up each other. So that competitiveness has came from being a twin, being so close and being just so into sports that everything we did was a competition. And it's cool enough to go through this on your own, but to have your twin brother, to have your best friend next to you, to, to experience all this at the same time, it's unbelievable.